Hey guys, Andrew Vest here, co-founder of 88 Herbs. Okay, today we're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite ingredients and a really exciting study that came out about this specific ingredient. It's ashwagandha and it's actually a type of ashwagandha that we use. It's a patented form from India called KSM 66 and we're looking at how this type of ashwagandha is able to reduce significantly stress and anxiety. And the study that we're talking about is in the Indian Journal of Psychological Medicine. And here's a quick look at the study. And they're evaluating the safety and efficacy of a high concentration, full spectrum extract of ashwagandha roots for reducing stress and anxiety. And they don't mention it specifically here in the writing, but they are talking about KSM 66 ashwagandha and again so the purpose is just ksm 66 ashwagandha for reducing stress and anxiety so the difference between this one and just a general off-the-shelf type of ashwagandha there are many there are huge differences um, so this one is a full spectrum ashwagandha and that means you're when you extract everything down, you're using the exact same ratios of the active ingredients and everything else that are found in nature. So you're not just getting one or two of them, you're getting the whole field basically of all of them. And that's measured by HPLC, which is um, a much better and more accurate way of measuring the uh, amount of action, active ingredients. Uh, this one has 5% with analydes, and 5% is a huge number. It's very potent. It's a high concentration. A lot of them have almost nothing at all, and some of them have maybe 2.5% if it's standardized, but they can use the leaves, and they can use other parts of the plant that's not just the root, and there are a lot of problems with doing that. Some of the with analyte classic classes are more toxic than others. And the type that they use here is far superior. And it's a very, um, it's a really high, highly concentrated amount. They only use the root, which is really important. And this is by far, if you look it up, it's the most clinically studied type of ashwagandha on the market. I'm going to have to make its own video sometime and I will. But basically the whole point of this is we're talking about this specific type, not just any type that you would that you would get. So the study design is randomized double blind, so it's a proper it's a proper study where even the the researchers aren't sure who's getting it. Uh, who's getting the placebo and who's getting the ashwagandha. They used 64 people who had a history of chronic stress. They're 18 to 54 years old and they didn't have any other noticeable or mentionable uh, mental health issues. And for the dose, they gave um, one 300 milligram capsule twice a day for 60 days and this is what we have here and that's exactly what we use 100 percent pure ksm 66 with no fillers and we don't um we don't add any inferior kinds either that's a sneaky thing that some can do we'd never do that so um uh, just one one capsule twice a day and what they looked at to try to measure this how are they going to measure it they look at two basic categories one is the actual amount of stress hormones in your blood so the main one they look at is cortisol and that's a stress hormone that when it's too high really makes us feel pretty bad and you need some cortisol it's a flight a fight or flight hormone so if you're running out of a burning building or getting chased by a bear you want it to wake you up and get you going 
Um, you even want some, obviously, during the day to make sure you're doing something. But when in our current lives, when they're when you're really overstressed and underslept and busy, we're just in a chronically high state. We have a chronically high high levels of cortisol, and it makes us um, really stressed and anxious, among other um, other health issues. There's really a lot. Um, and then the next thing that they looked at was three different questionnaire, these tests. And they didn't invent these tests, but these tests are very, very common in, when you're measuring stress and anxiety. So a quick look um, at sort of the general idea. They use the perceived stress scale, the general health questionnaire, 28 questions, and the depression, anxiety, stress scale so just to give an example of a type of question that they would ask just to give an idea at the beginning of the study and at the end of the 60 days is something like for the first one it's in the last month how often have you been upset because something happened unexpectedly um, in the last month how often have you felt nervous or stressed in general and if the answer is never you we would score a zero and if it's always a four and so they have zero one two three four and three is fair fairly often two is sometimes kind of thing so the lower the score the less stressed you are um the next one general health questionnaire they are looking at questions like have you been feeling run down and out of sorts have you been edgy and bad temper and it's this very similar type of scoring system they even ask have you been feeling that your life is not worth living um pretty serious stuff uh depression anxiety stress scale they ask how much you agree with the following uh statements stuff like I found myself getting upset by quite trivial things. I feel like I have nothing to look forward to. And again, you score it from zero to three or four. Zero meaning that it really doesn't apply to you at all. And three meaning that basically that sounds like exactly what you've been experiencing. So that's what they compared. And the results are very interesting actually and there's a huge difference between people who took the ashwagandha and people who took the placebo um, so a 27.9 percent reduction in blood cortisol levels so when you're actually measuring your blood from day zero and day 60 44 percent lower on the stress scale 72.3 percent better on the general health questionnaire and 71.6 better on the the DASS um, here's just a look at how that looks and and these are the numbers that I read off but you can also see the placebo category so placebo did something um, so everyone in the study on average got better on all these measurements but you can see the bar where it's the the light gray where it's the ashwagandha did significantly better than that so there's really no comparison um, there so that's basically the study which is an interesting study and so we have the luxury of not only looking at the science behind each ingredient and that does help us initially figure out which ingredients we want to use in our products because that's our whole purpose of 88 herbs is to be ingredient experts choose the best stuff that's out there because it does make a huge difference but we also have the luxury of trying everything ourselves our families and having literally tens of thousands of customers all over the world who are trying the ingredients and giving us a lot of feedback we've had incredible feedback with this product i can tell you myself i take it almost daily and it does make a really big difference in your stress and anxiety levels and we know so many people in our families and lives at our business that are taking this as well that's one reason that we're so excited but as you can see from the study you know that 
the results are proven in that sense as well. Um, so take a look at the ashwagandha here. We're going to put some more information on the site at 88herbs.com. Take a look around. We're going to be making a lot more videos that are that show the science, show what's behind each ingredient, how they work to give you guys a bit better of an idea of, you know, what our thought process is, what the research we're looking at and why to get these products over others. And we hope you like it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, click like if you want. We'll see you soon.